What's up guys, Shay here from That Student Life Australia and today's video is going to be a quick video surrounding the idea of procrastination and how you can beat it. Let's go. Alright guys, so procrastination is a big deal or a big problem for many students. The idea of actually sitting down and doing study is you know, often not too appealing and we usually you know, give ourselves any excuse to do anything but study. And this is a bit of a problem because you know, it can really make for a stressful time when the exams do come around because you haven't started early enough and you're underprepared. So I'm going to give you a few tips so you can actually avoid this procrastination as best you can. Okay, so my first and most major tip in avoiding procrastination is to actually you know, make the activities you're doing or the subject you're doing or the study you're doing have its foundations in topics and subjects and ideas that you actually love or like. For example, I chose maths and sciences as my major aspect of my HSC because I just like maths and science. If you can make the daily hard things you have to do or the things you're forced to do in life like school and a job surround aspects of which you actually love or activities that you enjoy, it's going to be so much easier to put in the hard work and see the results. Do something you love, make it about something you're actually interested in, and it'll come so much easier, you'll put in the time. Alright guys, so the second aspect of actually removing procrastination as best you can is to find out why you're actually doing it. So, why are you studying at school, or you know, why are you looking for that job, or why are you in that career? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you training for that marathon? For whatever reason that is, or whatever reasons, you have to surround yourself with those. I mean, find out, you know, maybe you want options later on life, you know, in university or whatnot, or you've uh, had an injury and you want to overcome it and you want to, you know, run that marathon because the doctor told you you couldn't, or just you can, you're a really competitive person. That's okay too. Just make sure you know exactly why you're doing what you're doing. Whatever it is, just find as many possible senses of motivation that you can, you know, whether it's intrinsic or extrinsic, just realize why you're doing it, you know, and keep that close to yourself. Now that you've actually involved yourself in something that you actually like, and you've found your why, your reason to actually get up in the morning and do that thing, you're now going to want to surround yourself with motivational sources. You're going to surround yourself and involve yourself in things that you know will get you going. For example, uh, on my iPhone, I have a playlist and it's um, my favorite motivational speakers and their videos and whatnot. I say I listen to it, you know, maybe on the car in the way to school before extension, which is maths at 8 o'clock in the morning. That's hard to get to. But, you know, if I, you know, I know those things, those motivational videos, listening to them actually does, you know, it makes me pretty pumped up. You know, kind of sad to say that I get pumped up for school, but it's true. It's what I need to do, you know, in order to get there and put in the hard work and, you know, I'm not going to argue with it. So, yeah. Also, guys, you know, for example, um, Instagram, I follow a bunch of, you know, motivational pages on Instagram. They post quotes or photos of fast cars and nice houses and all the things that I, you know, one day hopefully aspire to have. And those things just keep pushing me towards my goal. My screensaver is, for example, uh, it's a photo of my favorite rugby player. You know, the other screensaver, the wallpaper is like a photo of a Ferrari. I'm really into cars. You know, I want, you know, a few nice cars when I'm older. These things just realign me towards my goal in very simple ways. You know, they just they keep me motivated in, you know, very small amounts but constant amounts. And, you know, this really helps to keep yourself, you know, motivated each and every day because we're going to face challenges every day. We're going to have to study every day. So if you can have motivation every day, it's going to be so much easier to not procrastinate. My final tip for avoiding procrastination is to actually... Build up mental tolerance to the activity that you're forced to do or that you usually procrastinate about. Now for me, studying hasn't always been easy. The way I actually learned to not procrastinate and to actually be able to sit down and put in the work is by just for the first little while, just in small lots, just forcing myself to do it. So yeah guys, if you can just you know build up mental toughness, if you can actually force yourself to just have a go in slow progression, you know, maybe you start with a 20 minute study session, then the next day you might go 25, then the next day 30, you know, then the next day 35, why not? Just keep building up your tolerance and eventually, you know, everything is relative. It's going to become much easier to sit down and put in the hard work. So if you just keep putting in the time and, you know, forcing yourself to be there and turn up and be consistent, eventually it becomes much easier. You'll find it less hard to just sit there and do it and you'll procrastinate less. It's quite, you know, that simple. All right, guys, so just to recap, do things you love, 
find out why you're doing them, surround yourself with motivation and surround yourself with that why and you know just be consistent, make small steps, small progress and eventually you'll master it, you'll get stronger, you'll get better, you'll get quicker and everything will start to come together but it takes time and it takes practice. Alright guys, so that wraps this video up on procrastination. Hopefully you are procrastinating right now while watching this video, but if you are, please employ those steps and I'll see you later. Please like, comment and subscribe for more from That Student Life Australia. Thank you very much.